right, so here's some good information to know. When expanding, you are only going to have addition or subtraction in your final answer. You're only going to have addition and subtraction. You're not going to have exponents. You're not going to have like these random weird things going on. You're only going to have addition and subtraction in your final answer. So, like I just said, there will be neither exponents, multiplication, nor division in your problem. If there is, you are not finished with the problem. You have to keep on working until you get to the very end. So if you have exponents, multiplication, or division going on in your problem, that means you're not done. You got to keep working on to get your done, get to the end. So you should only have addition and subtraction in your answers with logs. So if you need to go back and look at your practices, go back and look at your practices and see if you did that. Hopefully you did. And if you didn't, then go back and try to fix that really quickly. All right, so let's now go into the next part. So we talked about expanding them, making them big. You get a log, you get a log, you all get a log. So now we're going to be like, you have a log, you have a log, you all have a log, but I want it. I'm going to get one log. Let's get it. Let's pull all those logs together and make one log. And then everybody has all the stuff all by themselves. So your logs are being pulled away to make it one log for the whole thing. And then we have the X's and Y's and all the good stuff. So really, we're going backwards from what we just did. So we're going with the, from the answer to now the actual problem. Like kind of like we just did a few seconds ago when we did expanding. We're going backwards from there. All right, so let's go ahead to our next thing. Example five. We're condensing these logs. And so we're going to condense them away. And condensing and expanding are important because we're going to use those to help us solve our log equations that we're going to go to next. That's our next section, the next lesson that we're going to do. So we're going to condense them and expand them on our next lesson, but we need to know how to do it here so we can be able to apply it to our next lesson. So as you can see, everything is building. It's building. Logs, exponential, exponential, log, all the stuff is coming back. All right, so the first thing here is your answer will either have one log or one natural log in it. Your answer is going to have just one log or one natural log. So you shouldn't have more than one log or one one or more one or more natural log. It should just be one. 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 Just one log and one natural log in your answer. In your answer. Now, if you look at the steps for condensing, what happened? Like what 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 do we do with the order? How do we get from the original way of doing it, expanding, to do it this way, for condensing? And hopefully everybody is saying it in their head. I hope you're saying it. We are flipping it. So we're doing reversing the order. So instead of us doing product, quotient, and power, we're doing power, quotient, product. But we're going backwards. So that's what we're going to do for these. Now, this next part, you don't have to write down unless you just have to, have to, have to write it down. It's up to you. You don't have to write it down at all. So, we're going backwards with these rules. And once again, if the rule is not in the problem, then skip it and go to the next rule that applies. So, if we're looking at this and we have power rule in the problem, there's no quotient, but there's product. So, we just, so with that, we just skip quotient and go straight to product. Or if there's just quotient and product, then we skip power rule and go to quotient and product. Just that simple and that easy. So if it's not there, don't use it. Don't make it up. Don't use it if it's not there. That means you have to know your rules. All right, this part I do want you to write down. The part in the um, light blue, light blue, or whatever color blue you call that. That's, that's blue to me. Um, your answer will have multiplication, division, and or exponents in it. So this time, we're going backwards, and we're going to have multiplication, division, and exponents in it. When expanding, we only had addition and subtraction, our final answer. When it comes to condensing, we're going to have the multiplication, division, and exponents. So if you have that, that's a good thing. So make sure you have that in your answer. And it might not be all of it. It might be one or two. It might just be one. But those are things you're looking for in your answer. Okay, so we're going to take it easy again. Start off easy. And we're going to start off with this problem. Natural log 
5 plus natural log x. And let me get here. So looking at it, we have an addition sign in the middle. So are we talking about going backwards to the product rule? Are we going backwards to the product uh, quotient rule? Or are we going backwards to doing the power rule? Because again, we're going backwards. We're taking the answer and moving it to the original function. And hopefully everybody sees that the 5 got a log, the x got a log, or a natural log in this case, and we just put addition in the middle. And if that happens, if this gets a log, that gets a log, and we put addition in the middle, are we using the, which rule are we using? Aha, uh -huh. yes, you are smart. We're doing the product rule. So we're going to do 5 times x, natural log 5 times x, and that's just your product rule. And that's it. That's all there is. Natural log 5x. And then you're done. Okay. So not bad. So let's take a look at this next one, b. Now, before we can condense anything down or um, bring things together or anything, we said that the log is the thing that goes with each function or each part. If a log is not there, can we touch it at all or do we just leave it as it is? We just leave it as, as it is. So if you look at the 4x minus 3, there's no log on the inside of there. So don't touch that part because there's no logs with it. So they didn't get a log, so they're not important. So just leave them together. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. If they don't have a log, leave it. If no logs with it, don't touch it. They're not important. They're not important at all. So here, we keep that 4x minus 3. Don't touch it because it's, it's not important. That didn't get a separate log inside there at all, so we leave it alone. So, we saw here that x got a log, the 4x minus 3 got a log, and then it was a subtraction in the middle. So, if we have subtraction, what rule are we dealing with? And hopefully in your mind, in your head, or you might say it out loud, we're talking about the quotient rule. Quotienta. Quotienta. So if we do the quotient rule, that means we have one log, one big log. And we'll have a division bar right here because we're talking about division because it's the quotient, quotient rule. We're going to do 4x minus 3 on top and then x on the bottom. And that is our quotient rule. And let me do this part. Let me do it this way. Uh, make it smaller. Let me do it this way. Oop, that didn't help out. <laughs> Oh, well. Let's do a big print C right here. Ooh, Jesus. All right. And then do a big print C back here, too. All right. So, that's it. That's all we're going to do. That's the quotient rule. That's it. So, we just did a product rule here. We did the quotient rule here. So, let's do one more quotient rule. I think it's quotient rule. Yeah, one more quotient rule. And again, with this one, do we do anything with that 7x plus 6? No, because it's just 7x plus 6. There's no log inside of there, so that's not important, so we just leave it. So again, the 7x plus 6 got a log, x got a log, and then a subtraction in the middle. So that means we are using our quotient rule again. Quotient rule. So we have one log again. Remember, our whole goal is to get down to one log, not multiple logs, but just one, because we're condensing it down to one log. So we have 7x plus 6 on top, and then we have x on the bottom. Bam. Bam. All right, so that's it. So if you have a question on that, let me know. Let me know now before we actually move on to the last um, uh, example, and then we're done with the section. All right, so... That's it. That's the, that's doing it individually. In the next video, we're going to do it more in depth.